Draven Gray, TBS teacher and um, producer, engineer, buddy, says, I personally prefer a more vertical embouchure. Ooh. Okay. When moving into a belting vocal mode, however, the risk that I've come across when walking students through it is that because most of the resonance is focused on the south palate, south palate and forward rather than open throat, it's easy to splat the vowel. Yes, translation, uh, sort of ah, da, 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 a lot of vertical position uh, can lead to splatting out the vowels a little bit more, for sure. That's sort of the chain of logic. The only way around that is to focus on a more open throat with the vertical embouchure. Other than that, I always use a more horizontal embouchure. Um, okay. In regards to this horizontal embouchure thing, it's not an absolute thing. It has, and I'm not, you know, very few things in singing and singing technique are absolute, okay? If you get around somebody that's like very absolute about their thing, Red flag, red flag, okay? Uh, I'll tell you, the only thing, there is one thing that's absolute, okay? In singing, and that's, take a guess. What's the one constant, like gravity? What's the one absolute in singing? The one thing that can't be changed, that can't be, uh, 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 that, that is that is either absolutely accurate or it's not. What is it? Take a good guess. Jeopardy music. Okay. Frequency. Pitch. Frequency and pitch. You can't be sort of like it's gotta be on. If you're not if technically, if you're not on pitch, technically, you're making noise. Even if it still sort of sounds good, because you're really close, technically it's noise. So this is a, a bit esoteric, but um, in a sense, what you take from that is that we are in some sense slaves to frequency, slaves to the notes on the keyboard. But just, just about everything else, there's elements of flexibility, there's spectrum, um, there's interpretation and a creative license. Um, another thing about this horizontal, uh, the, Draven's point makes me think about is that in the beginning, teachers, listen, teachers and beginners, beginners and teachers with beginners, in the beginning, training a horizontal embouchure position, nagging yourself and your student to keep it in that position, in the long run is gonna reap big, big benefits for your student, okay? Because of the reason I already mentioned, they get better amplification, their tongue begins to articulate more for singing, um, uh, they begin to sort of get into throat shaping and more efficient shaping of the vowels. Um, so uh, horizontal embouchure is something that I do with beginners for sure, but if somebody like say Draven maybe, or, or myself, or somebody that's got a lot of experience and a lot of motor skills and strength for singing, you see more vertical movement um, because by that time, a lot of the, art, the articulated movements, the motor skills have already been built. So you can kind of, you know, stretch out, sort of loosen up a little bit and, and get in more of a vertical position. But I'm a, a bit of a stickler in the beginning for uh, uh, most students, uh, beginners and uh, amateurs to, to go there because I want to build that skill. Thanks for your input, Jamie. Good stuff.